So here we need to identify one of the vertical asymptotes of this function. So I'm going to rewrite this in terms of cosine. And uh, I'm going to take out the 6. So it's x minus pi over 6. So I'm going to start with the 1 over cosine theta, what the function looks like. And uh, this is going to be, so the cosine theta, if I do 0, pi over 2, pi, and pi over 2, this is going to, cosine theta goes to 0. So it's, if you draw this out, it's going to look something like that. So it's going to go up to plus infinity. Now here, it's going to be negative, so it's going to look something like that. And then again. It keeps recurring. And the vertical asymptote for secant theta is at uh, y equal to x equal to pi over 2. Now, when we have a multiplier of 6, meaning 1 over cosine 6 theta, then this point becomes pi over 12, because when you multiply it by 6, that's going to give you uh, cosine pi over 2. So the vertical asymptote here is at pi over 12. Now we also have this shift. This is a horizontal shift um, uh, to the right, minus because we have a minus pi over six. So this vertical asymptote will shift to the right by pi over six. And if you add this, uh, this is going to become three pi over twelve or pi over four, which is indeed one of the answer choices. So x equal to pi over four is one of the vertical asymptotes, and that's answer choice B.